Every time she eats, Nikki must take a tablet to help her digest her meal. It's because most of her pancreas has been removed to get rid of a malignant tumour. I just felt something was wrong deep down inside. But when her symptoms started, pancreatic cancer was the last thing she imagined. I thought it might be something like a virus, stomach upset, maybe something menopausal. I was 51 at the time. It didn't even cross my mind that I might have cancer. The pancreas is a large gland important for food digestion. Cancer there tends to cause unexplained weight loss, coupled with symptoms like tummy or back pain, indigestion or nausea, or bowel problems like pale stools which float. Newly diagnosed diabetes can also be a sign, but a third of people surveyed said they would not bother their GP with these symptoms. And because the symptoms are vague, there are so many other um, conditions that it might be, I think the important thing for patients is just to, to keep going back if they are having these symptoms, if they're not being um, addressed. All too often the disease is detected very late, meaning just 7% of people are still alive five years later. Nikki has a more hopeful outlook because she did keep going back to her doctors. I think sometimes you've got to really trust in yourself and your body and I think you know something's wrong and it's worth pushing for. So I would say just push if you have to. A lot of the time it's going to turn out to be nothing and it's going to be fine. And for most people with tummy pain or bowel problems, it isn't serious. But one person in 60 will get pancreatic cancer and for them, acting quickly on those warning signs could make all the difference. Catherine Jones, 5 News.